Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're here to look at what is a warranty enhancement program. So before I start, let me know in the comments below, have you ever seen a warranty enhancement program? I'm not sure how often Lexus or Toyota actually offers these warranty enhancement programs. And according to Lexus Canada's website, there are three different types. There's two campaigns and one program. So we've known about the safety recall campaign and we know about the limited service campaign because the Lexus NX already offered those two during the ownership of the two years that I've owned my NX. So the safety recall campaign, so it says in accordance to the requirements of the Canadian Motor Vehicle Safety Act, and if you're a different country, there are different acts there, when Lexus has determined that either a defect or a non-compliance with a Canadian motor vehicle safety standard which relates to a motor vehicle safety exists in your vehicle. A safety recall campaign is launched. The inspection and or repair required under the safety recall campaign will be performed at no charge to the vehicle owner. All right, so that's really something that related to anything related to safety and it's not compliance to the safety rules of your country, that's when they have to issue a safety recall and then recall a vehicle to repair or do whatever they need to do. All right, so then the second type is called a limited service campaign. And we've seen that on the NX as well. So the purpose of the limited service campaign is to offer vehicle owners an inspection and or repair at no charge for a limited period of time in order to address a non-safety related product or technical issue. So meaning if they found like a bug that is not safety related, that's when they will issue a limited service campaign. All right, so Lexus does encourage guests to take advantage of the all limited service campaigns prior to the expiration date. So they will have a certain time frame where you can bring your car back to the dealership, get it fixed or repaired or inspected, and again, keep in mind, this is non-safety related. So for the second generation NX, what they did for the limited service campaign was related to the front facing camera where it probably crashed or an exception occurred and then it had to do a reboot before it reactivated again. And they determined that was not a safety issue. So then people needed to bring their car back so that they can actually get the software updated for that front facing camera. So then now the third one is the Warranty Enhancement Program. So the purpose of the Warranty Enhancement Program is to inform guests that Lexus has enhanced the warranty coverage, either time or mileage, on the vehicle component to further enhance customer satisfaction. So Warranty Enhancement Programs have a time and or mileage limit and specific conditions for it to be eligible. So why am I talking about this Warranty Enhancement Program? Well, there's a few reasons, okay? First thing is, I, other than owning a Lexus NX, my family also owns an ultrasonic blue Mica Lexus CT. And I got in the mail a warranty enhancement program. So I've actually been seeing this warranty enhancement program, but I've never actually seen one. So this time, I actually got one in the mail. So I wanted to actually talk about what is this warranty enhancement program for the CT, but then after researching a little bit more about the warranty enhancement program, I also found that, oh, the RAV4 Prime and the RAV4 Hybrid and some other Toyota vehicles also have a warranty enhancement program, and that is related to the cable gate. And then when we talked about ca cable gate, I think a lot of you were actually concerned about that especially if you're going to buy an NX hybrid or plug-in hybrid. So in this video, I'm going to quickly go over the CT warranty enhancement program to see what it is and look at the frequently asked questions so we all understand what a warranty enhancement program is. And then I'm going to look at the RAV4, the cable gate related uh, warranty enhancement program. All right, because that potentially could be something that we may see in the NX in the future. I hope we never see it, which means the cable gate does not apply to the NX, but I think it's good to just have a sense of what are they doing with the warranty for cars that are impacted with the cable gate. Let's get to it. Follow me on Instagram at LSFTVideos. You can see updates on my experience with the NX450H Plus 
which may not be shown on any future videos. You can reach out to me via direct messaging if you have any questions on your Lexus. If you like this video, you can provide me feedback in the comments below, like this video, share it with your friends. This definitely will help with the YouTube algorithms. Press the subscribe button and bell icon and get notified when new videos show up. And lastly, if you want to support me further, you can provide me a super thanks or visit my Amazon storefront before you purchase anything from Amazon and or you can purchase products from the list on the items that I've been using with my vehicle or at home at no extra cost to you. And now let's continue with the video. All right, so it says this is a notification and really saying that at Lexus, we dedicate to providing vehicles of outstanding quality and value. And as part of the continued efforts to help ensure guest satisfaction, Lexus would like to advise you that an enhance of to the portion of your Lexus new vehicle with limited warranty. So again, my car is 2015, four years later, 2019, it's up, done with the warranty or the full warranty. And then there's the powertrain and other warranty. But this one, it says like they're enhancing the warranty. Okay, so they're saying that this warranty enhancement program provides coverage as it applies to the brake booster and the brake booster pump assemblies on certain 2014 to 2017 model year CT200H vehicles. The specific conditions covered by this program is related to certain internal malfunctions of the brake booster assembly. One or more of the following diagnostic trouble codes, C1391, 1252, 1253, and 1256 will be stored in the vehicle's memory to be used as verification. In the condition is verified, the vehicle will be repaired with a new brake booster and brake booster pump assemblies under the terms of the warranty enhancement program. Okay, so I think what they're saying is, they are seeing there are some issues with the brake booster and the brake booster pump assembly, but it's not a safety recall or a limited service campaign. So they're actually now saying that if there is an issue, they can actually get it repaired under this warranty enhancement program. Okay, so then it says the following warning lamps are eliminated when your vehicle are experiencing a concern with the brake booster and brake booster assembly and this will be covered by the warranty enhancement program. Here we have master warning light. So you have the warning light, the brake system warning malfunction where it's red. We have the brake system warning light, that which is yellow. We have the ABS warning light, which is yellow, and the slip indicator, which is yellow. It is possible for these lights above to eliminate and the condition is not related to the warranty enhancement program. So this gets a little bit complex because some of these Come on, right? Like especially the slip one, the ABS warning. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that, but the slip one definitely shows up. So how would you know? Well, it says while the majority of vehicles will not experience this condition, we are offering the following new vehicle warranty extension. So what they're saying is there's this warranty extension for the brake booster and the brake booster pump assembly. And what they're saying is the warranty enhancement program provides a primary and secondary coverage extension to the vehicles, the new vehicle limited warranty for repairs related to certain internal malfunctions of the brake booster assembly. And if the conditions is verified, the vehicle is will be repaired with the new brake booster and or the assembly at no charge under this program. OK, they're saying that the primary coverage offers the warranty enhancement until April 2nd. 2025 with no year or mileage limitations. So if I owned a 2014, this is actually now 11 years after, right? But then it says after the primary coverage period ends, so after April 2nd, 2025, the secondary coverage is applied for 10 years from the date of the first use or 240,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. I believe I got my CT in 2014. So first use, 10 years, is 2024. So meaning I will not get any warranty enhancement program after this April 2nd, 2025. Because 10 years after the original first use is already passed. It's not really that much more of a warrant, like extended warranty of any shape or form. 
But if you owned the 2017, then it makes sense because, because then it can go to 2027. So then it says Lexus does not believe this condition is a concern of a safety defect, so we're taking this action to ensure that they stand behind their products and enhance their ownership experience. Please note that this coverage is for warranty work performed at an authorized Lexus dealer only. So the FAQs for this enhancement program. So is this a recall? They're saying no. They're just trying to continue effort to get better guest satisfaction and ensure that there's enhanced warranty. So if my vehicle does not have this condition, do I have to make an appointment with the dealership? No. You do not need to take your car to the dealership unless you exhibit the condition described in the letter. And if you're not experienced this condition, please keep the letter in your glove compartment for future reference. Okay, so what should I do if my vehicle has the condition described? So you, if you experience this condition, you contact an authorized Lexus dealer and make arrangements, diagnostics, and if applicable, repair. So what happens if the dealer's diagnostic determines the vehicle is not covered by the warranty enhancement program? So please be aware that if the condition is not covered by this WEP, you may be responsible for initial diagnostic fee and any other repairs you may decide to perform. Any authorized dealership can determine if a condition is covered by the WEP. Is the warranty enhanced program coverage transferable if I sell my vehicle? And the answer is yes. All right, so then what else? If you have any concerns, contact the service department at your Lexus dealership. So there we have it, the warranty enhancement program. And this is actually the first time I've actually seen a warranty enhancement program. Um, have anybody, like if you're watching this video, have you ever get a lead letter from Lexus telling you about this warranty enhancement program? And if you do, leave in the comments below for what vehicle and what was it all related about. This is the first time I've seen this and it's interesting to see that they're enhancing it, your warranty, but then they know that potentially there could be a problem, but it, because it's not a safety issue, they don't have to fix it for you, and you, you you probably have to pay for it if you actually experienced it, but then with this warranty enhanced program, you don't have to pay for it now. Well, I think it's some good things, but then also if they can go an extra mile and actually go and say, let's replace them all, it is what it is. All right, so now let's go and look at the Toyota RAV4, and this one is all related to the cable gate. All right, so now this one is a Toyota warranty enhancement program. So this one is the W65, and this was actually originally launched December 22nd, 2022. So you see this is the W65, all right? And the funny thing is when you go back to the letter that I had for the Lexus, this one is actually it has a W70. So I don't know if this is related, but uh, 65 and then 70, so they probably had five uh, of these warranty enhancement programs in the Toyota family. I'm just guessing, I don't know. But here we go. Uh, so this was originally launched December 22nd, 2022, but you see this red thing? This was actually updated. So you can see that uh, 2023, September 28th, phase three of, of vehicle models were added. So. This is actually a 2023 document, and this is what they've added to the vehicles. So I think originally what they did was they had the RAV4 Hybrid. Later on, they added the Highlander Hybrid, and now they're adding the RAV4 Prime, the Venza, and the Sienna Hybrid into this mix. And they're all from 2019 range to 2023 for the Sienna. All right, so I think a lot of people are aware of this uh, cable gate. So there is actually like a hybrid harness which connects from the front to the back of the vehicle and there is potential corrosion on certain hybrid vehicles that Toyota uh, produced during this period of time. I think the same thing, they don't see this as a, like a, a safety issue. It's probably just because of a corrosion of the cable and the cable needs to be replaced and it's actually quite expensive for, uh, like for this replacement. So when you look at here, it actually says here the rear traction motor corrosion on certain 2019 to 2022 RAV4 hybrids. And they also said 2020 to 2022 Highlanders. And this article includes now the 21 to 22 RAV4 primes and the Venza hybrid for 21 and 22 and the Sienna hybrid for 21 to 23. All right. So then one of the biggest questions I would actually say is, 
how about the NX? So the NX came out in 2022 as a new model year, and you see that the RAV4 Prime also 22 and the RAV4 is 22. And what I think they've done was this one did not have that cover that covers this hike, uh, this cable. And in the 22s, in the NX, when they came out, they added the cover and they actually had a hole drilled so that actually water can actually leak out. So I, I'm not sure if they will ever add like this to the warranty enhancement program unless we start seeing like vehicles having issues like that what we see here on the RAV4s and the Highlanders and the Venzas. I think in the next few years, if we if anybody experience having corrosion cables, then they may need to extend this to the NX and probably other vehicles that are that has that fixed, even the current RAV4s, RAV4 Primes, they've added the same correction, but we don't know what we don't know. Again, this is the background. This is related to that corrosion of the cable. And the limited warranty was three years or 60,000 kilometers. And if they actually see that you have this issue, now they're extending that to eight years or 160,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. Which I would say is, I think that would actually make sense. Um, I think by eight years, if there was a problem, you would have seen the problem. And for folks who actually got to 2019, eight years from that is 2027. So even from today, there's three more years for that to get like a remediation under the warranty. So if you're concerned about it, uh, especially with your NX, uh, I would say monitor that cable. Just make sure there's no corrosion. Or if when you do wash your car, spray, spray water under it so that it actually will clear out any salts so that it will not cause too much corrosion. And hopefully with that fix that they've done, that they added the panel that covers the, the cable, that will definitely reduce the amount of like salt water getting into the area and hopefully that will reduce the corrosion. So there we have it, this warranty enhance program and just talking about the warranty enhance program. You learn something new every day. I hope that you found that this video was informative and until next video, drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.